Well, hello everybody and how are you doing? This is the Tech News Guru bringing you some new information here today. Uh, basically, what we did today is we went out and found some sites uh, where you can buy some inexpensive Apple, uh, I should say MacBooks, MacBook Pros, um, MacBook Airs, and also some Mac Pros, the old big one, and the trash can style ones. Uh, this is going to exclude um, eBay because these sites, well, eBay does not really support. Like if you buy it, you're buying it from a buyer and they do not really support a return policy or a way to fix it very well. And uh, we're not going to put up their uh, Craigslist because Craigslist is okay, but not a great place to really want to buy a MacBook from um, too many issues and then unscrupulous people that you know you may think they're doing you a, a great deal and come to find out down the road that it's really not a great deal all right so <clears throat> what we got going on here is basically the MacBook uh, as you can see is the nice shiny looking one with all the pretty colors and all that kind of stuff um, but what we're gonna do is take you to our top five sites where you can go and find a very inexpensive Mac computer. All right, let's roll. Our first site we're gonna go to, um, it's still expensive in my book, but it's the Apple website refurbished. Um, basically, all these sites that I'm gonna show you here today are going to have links down in the description below so what we're looking at here is um, you can get a MacBook a MacBook Air uh, the 11 and a 13 inch a MacBook Pro a 13 and a 15 inch and then our Mac mini iMac and the Mac Pro itself and <clears throat> as you can see here we have a refurbished Mac mini with a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Intel i5 processor um, four gigs of memory from what I know on this one here is that uh, it cannot really be upgraded when you buy it um, afterwards you kind of have to spend the money and buy it up front spec'd out to the way you'd want it to be um, most of the time this is a entry-level computer that you can get and do your basic stuff um, it wouldn't meet what everybody would want it to do, but I'm not going to say too much more on that. But also, too, this is a refurbished one, so you're looking at it might be somebody who didn't like it, that's why it's refurbished, or they bought it and didn't meet what they wanted it to do. And as you can see here, it's coming from the Apple Store, being refurbished, you're looking at the computer costing you $419. Uh, it says a savings of $80, 16% off. Yay, whoopee, all right. Um, then we have all the other computers. Here's another Mac Mini 2.8, dual core i5, eight gigs of memory, terabyte fusion drive, 849. That's fun and fine. And then we have our MacBook Airs, 749. And we scroll down and show you some more. Oh, look, an iMac, um, 2.7 gigahertz, quad core, Intel i5, $1,000, oh my God. Uh, this is a 21 inch screen with the backlit dual IPS technology 18 no 1920 by 1080 resolution 8 gigs of memory one terabyte hard drive that's pretty nice and then let's look at our 13 inch MacBook Pros uh, 2.7 dual core i5 thousand dollars if you all knew what I knew you wouldn't be spending that much <laughs> All right, and as you can see here, the Mac website offers refurbished units, so they will be used and, you know, still holding the Mac Apple Store price, which is okay, but a little expensive, all right? Now, let's roll to number four. Um, this site is pretty okay. The only thing with it that is these they specialize in low-end Macs. So we're looking at older Macs here. 
Um, they have great deals on your MacBook Pros, your MacBook Airs, your iMacs, your Mac Pros themselves, all the, all those kind of computers that you're probably looking for. And then they also have older Macs here, the uh, G3, the G4, and the G5s um, series. The reason why we marked it one at number four is because they do support, like I already went here and looked at it, they do support when you buy it, you can return it to them. Um, their return policy, if I remember, is about all the way at the bottom of the site. Mm. Uh, look all the way in the fine print reading uh, don't know didn't see all that but anyway um, they do have a return policy so if you buy it you can um, return it to them or have them troubleshoot any issues you come across but let's look at the uh, MacBook Pro Retina deals and as you can see right here we have one that has the 2.3 gigahertz um, back in 2012 and a 2.4 gigahertz 2013 model with different specs for memory and hard drive size and all that and after you can see that they say best new price is 2.3 2012 retina is 1879 shipped hmm. then you know it goes up and then 2.7 gigahertz 2013 with retina uh, $2,500. Uh, that's still very expensive. Um, for being an older Mac, even though they do hold their prices very well, that's still expensive. And for back in the day, um, if you don't mind spending that much on it, that's pretty good. But that's why this site is marked at number four. Now let's move on to number three. Now, this site here, megamax.com, their description will be down in the bottom. Uh, they sell the older stuff, so you're not going to get anything fairly new, but they give you choices. And the MacBook Pro here we're looking at, um, you got the covers, you got all this fun stuff, and here we go. Um, <coughs> a MacBook Pro unibody, 15.4 inch, uh, 2.6 Let's make this bigger so y'all can see what I'm looking at. And let's see. All the stuff that comes with the 8 gigs of memory, slot, NVIDIA, all that expansion stuff. And here's one of the things that I like about this site. Um, you can get a couple of upgrades if you wanted to. Like the iWorks 09 disc, you can get that for $44.99. Um, Let's see, you can also add the um, OS Lion installation USB for an extra $70 if you wanted that. Add it into it. Um, that'll push up the price a tad, but you know, you can do some upgrades. And this is a refurbished grade B unit. So, and then there's a 30 day return policy. So, you're looking at, you can get a decent Mac computer from here at a decent price now you're looking at it, it's going to be a little bit older but these machines don't really do that bad even though they may be older they're still powerful computers because i mean as you can see the specs right here you're getting a lot for what you can buy and spend six hundred dollars normally on a pc six hundred dollars to get you a high-end pc almost um this here is a mac computer you know a lot of people want a Mac computer nowadays to do all kinds of stuff, video editing, movies, um, picture, photos, whatever it may be. But here's a great site you can come to. Get a pre-owned Mac or refurbished and still walk away not dropping a thousand dollars on a unit like this. All right. Well, that's my number three spot. Now, let's move on to number two. Now, number two is my, one of my favorites where, from my Mac computer, I do get my memory from these guys. Um, they are a site where if you need to get like solid state drives, um, memory for your computer, and they have 
a little chart so you can put in your serial number of your computer and get the specific memory that they rec recommend for it and do some of your upgrades like the way you want um, this is a great site then they got as you can see right here got some accessories too but what we're looking at here today is the prices on a Mac computer and let's look at this MacBook Pro here as you can see these guys are a little expensive but they are a little bit more up to date and they're giving you a computer with a lot of power as I can see right here uh, this one is a 15 inch MacBook Pro 2012 2.3 uh, i7 Intel i7 Thunderbolt 8 gigs of memory 500 gig hard drive now here's one of the things with this site this same computer if you don't want that hard drive you can switch it on and get a solid state drive you know you pay a little bit extra but you can get that as you can see um, solid state drive where you can get that installed into it let's see how much that's gonna cost you to get it done and as you can see when you come here you give them the specs of the type of solid state drive that you want um, they start off pretty much at a hundred bucks and go up they're not gonna be large but they can be installed or they'll send it to you and you install it watching you know their learning video but things like that that's what you can get at a site like this that's one of the things I like about this place they give you a whole lot for a little they are offering a whole lot for a little they're not just like eBay you buy it and then you're on your own and then if you're not happy you gotta gripe with the seller through a chat you can't just call up and say oh I'm having a problem with this that or the other because they're just getting rid of something they don't want anymore overall um, let's look at another one here we also have let's see go back one more and yeah my favorite which is the one I have Mac Pro the machine as you can see um, they range from two hundred and thirty dollars all the way up depending on how you spec it out to the way you want over you price you get high oh here one that's like four thousand dollars basically um <clears throat> sorry about that this one here you're looking at memory 32 gigs of memory um ddr3 you get three terabyte 7200 rpm hard drive um you can get a solid state drive put into it and that's what they're showing here um all the other stuff is you know comes with it it's already tested quality you can trust and it has the 30-day return policy on it so when you buy it you can say well it's not what i wanted or buyer's remorse i spent too much on it and you can return it to them here's one of the other things i like about this is that this computer is coming with yosemite pre-installed on it some of these other ones that come when they're older computers um come with snow leopard or lion built into it that's one of the things a lot of people don't seem to take into consideration when you buy one of these Mac computers and they're the old ones some of them can move forward all the way up to El Capitan but if you don't do your research you never will find that out but that's what I say if you are looking for a specific Mac computer these places that I'm showing you here now offer you stuff like this you can get a decent Mac computer and also add stuff into it that'll make it even more powerful than in one of the computers that you have spend today. Um, my preference is I like the tower machines more than the trash cans because the tower machines, as you can see, are not that expensive, but you can always add on later. So say you want to do some video editing, um, whatever it may be photo editing or building websites you can buy them very inexpensively as you can see here and then add stuff on later you don't need to have four bays full with your hard drives you just buy like two terabyte drives and stick them in you got plenty of room or you can buy a solid state drive and then put in a terabyte drive solid state drive will make these computers move lightning fast 
and a terabyte drive, plenty of storage for your movies or whatever it may be. And as we saw way down at the bottom of the page here, the trash can. $6,800 for that beast. Oh my God. Really? Well, let's see what this offers. 32 gigs of memory. Uh, let's see, a terabyte flash storage. Very interesting. Um, high speed video editor, graphics card, and they come with OS 10.9. Um, you can move it up to 10.10 Yosemite. Well, you could even go up to Mavericks. I mean, not Mavericks, El Capitan with these things now because they can't be upgraded that easily. So, but I, <coughs> me personal wise, wouldn't really want to buy one of these. That's Unless you have the cash to spend on that kind of computer, you can go ahead and do that. But I wouldn't recommend that. Get the other one. And then you could upgrade at any time. Put in whatever you want, however you want. No stress, no muss, no fuss, right? All right. Now, we move on to my favorite. Number one. Websites called GameSaver. Found out about this website through Facebook. This is the site that if you want an inexpensive Mac computer um, we they both have as you can see right here Mac Pros MacBook Airs the regular MacBooks the older ones um, iMacs Mac Pros any one of those you can get a computer at a very decent price the reason why I'm marking this site number one is one primary thing you can do with this let's look at that 15 inch macbook pro as you can see along the left side here you have your choice of the old core two core duo core two duo a dual core i5 a dual core i7 and a quad core i7 um other thing about this site here i like too is that if you if we go back wait a minute, we go back to macbook pros the hard to find 17 inch macbooks are here too so if you want a computer where you're going to be doing your video editing and you want to be able to take it with you but you want a big screen the macbook pro 17 inch lives here and if i click on it um let's see here yeah this one right here off the bat is a macbook pro 17 inch 2.4 quad core i7 2011 uh, small blemishes with a couple of dents but here's the thing i like about this computer is that i should say not the computer the site itself is that if i decide i want to change anything in the computer they do it before they even send it to me like let's say i don't want a regular hard drive i want a solid state drive put in this 80 dollars. look at that Okay, you gotta remember this computer before I even did that. Let's go back up to regular price. Was already around nine hundred and some change, right? So if I go here and I put in a solid state drive for 100, 128 gig solid state drive for eighty dollars, we're at now a thousand for this computer. Okay, memory four gigs. I don't want four gigs. I want to push it to sixteen, eleven hundred for it so far, right? And one of the best things too, this little bad boy is running El Capitan right out of the box. Here's one of the other things that makes this site worthy if you want to get it. I can put in Windows with parallels in it. Windows 7 Pro, Windows 8 Pro, or if you like, Windows XP Pro. None of the others were giving you that. Alright, let's go back and look look at another one. And I'll show you. Let's let's go down to a 15 inch okay so let's say you don't want to spend over a thousand dollars on a computer let me put one together for you um let's see i want one with a dual core i7 okay so we're looking at a dual core i7 here right and we want to start off with the price low you know don't want to blow the budget out the water right away okay look at that six hundred and sixty nine dollars let's just say six seventy forget the stupid nine six seventy you're getting a macbook pro 15 inch 2.8 gigahertz dual core i7 2010 small blemishes okay 
now. Let's spec it out to make everybody happy here. Okay, here. This has a 500 gig hard drive, the regular 54 RPM. I don't want that. I want to put in a, a solid state drive, 80 bucks. Bam, 750 right there. Still ain't break a thousand yet, right? Um, ooh, four gigs of memory in it? No, I want eight gigs of memory in it. Bam, 850 so far. You have here a 15 inch MacBook Pro solid state drive for 80 dollars right 126 let's say you want more space we'll push it up to 256 888 all right here's the part that makes this really worthy than the other four sites no matter what you do i could put in windows from any version xp 7 8 pro right here running in boot camp let's say i want windows 7 because windows 8 was really crap so there i have just maxed up a computer to the specs that some people would like a 256 solid state drive right eight gigs of memory um it's already running el capitan the most newest operating system out here for apple okay it has a windows operating system in it so this gives you the ability to run windows on one side and el capitan on the other or if you want to be you know big game you could run parallels and run them both at the same time okay so you have windows 7 pro running parallels for 250 dollars brings up that computer to 1137 now that i have to say right there is priceless no matter how you work it that is priceless right um let, let, let's go back and be cheap <laughs> i know i'm rambling but let's go back and be really cheap let's say where is it i want a regular 15 inch macbook pro right i don't want it to be a dual core or quad core i just want it to be a dual core i5 Okay, as you can see, there's only five available. So let's see what it has to offer, right? Five available, we're gonna market price low. So let's see what we come up with here. Starting off, oh, it only dropped down by $20. $650 for this computer. This is a 2.4 gigahertz dual core i5. Small blemishes like always, because these are a used type, not brand new, okay? Um, let's see here, go on. And let's configure our Mac computer here. Uh, same hard drive as the last one before, but we don't want that. We want a solid state drive, $80, $730 for that so far. Um, we don't want four gigs of memory. We want eight gigs of memory, $830 for that, All right? Here's the best part right here. Windows 7 Pro in bootcamp for $150, under a thousand dollars how can you not go wrong with that that uh, yeah, let, let's let's even take it we can go let's go to craigslist you know there's always somebody selling a mac computer yeah, in the tampa bay area because i live here in florida and we're going to go by owner we're not going to go by dealer we're going to go by owner and there you go a macbook pro 17 inch Let's see what this has to offer here, All right? This person's selling this for eleven fifty. Okay, this is a seventeen-inch MacBook Pro, right? Um, see, this is why I'm saying I'm not recommending Craigslist because here you're not knowing what you're getting. In the tiny writing there, seventeen-inch uh, MacBook Pro. It looks like a cover on it. Yeah, there's a cover on it, and it looks very nice. Has the original box. The cords all wrapped up pretty bad. Here we go. 2.66 gigahertz Intel Core 7, right? 4 gigs of memory. Okay. And 2 286 megabytes of flash storage. Okay. That's what you're getting with a 17 inch from Craigslist for 1150, my friends. 
right? Let's go back to my place. Let's show you. We're gonna we're gonna spec out a MacBook Pro, right? 17 inch. Okay. Um, let's see. That one was a i Intel Core i7. Okay. We're gonna go to a, a regular dual core i7, not quad core, because we're gonna keep in the same specs as well, according to what they are saying, right? And also, mind you, too, this MacBook um, is a 2010, okay? Gain saver. Oh, look, it's also the same MacBook 266 dual core 2010, right? Now, we've yet to do anything to this computer, okay? I'm taking the first one that comes up, not even scrolling down for a cheap, cheap one out of the group, because you can choose it that way. Um, let's see. It didn't say what kind of hard drive it was in there, so I don't know, because they didn't give you much information. That's the memory. That's about much as they're going to give you until you call them and ask them, what am I getting for this computer? So let's look at this. Let's change out this hard drive like I did before Terra um, solid state drive 809 okay um it's running El Capitan already his may be running El Capitan too we don't know um, 8 gigs of memory okay here's the deal right here he's only giving you 4 gigs of memory for 1150 right this side here is giving you 8 gigs of memory for only $900 right now let's match their price and putting the Windows operating system in boot camp 1058 basically $100 less than them and this site's giving you a whole lot more alright so that's what I'm saying plus if you even want to go the extra mile they're giving you extended warranty for 180 days so let's say you're not satisfied with that. You want it to go for a whole year. Now I'm at 1150. I have the peace of mind that I can buy it from here, get a warranty, get it specced out to the way I want, and if anything goes wrong with it, I could send it back within the year of buying this computer versus the Craigslist guy here who's selling it, MacBook Pro, 17-inch for 1150. Right, and you don't know if it has any issues. That's why I'm telling you, my friends. The sites I just showed you, giving you great deals, but the number one site in my book. Now, if you know of any more, and you're gonna give me some more information on better places to buy, let me know. But here it is, the final game player, or to say the game changer, game saver. All these websites I've gone to and showed you what they have to offer will be in the descriptions down below so enjoy have fun this is your tech news guru signing out and happy purchasing talk to you later bye